My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time and being with us this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Yeah, so my name is Nate Webb, a.k.a. Bullies Be Gone, and I'm tuning in from Utah in the United States. Awesome. So let's dive into it. I know it was a very, very interesting topic for myself. What is that? What, how did you start Bullies Gone Wrong? How, talk to me. I, well, in business, I know there are a lot of bullies, and they're called competitors, but it's a little bit different in our personal lives. So give us a little bit of sure. a hint of what do we need to do to create that uh, culture of kindness, and how did you, why did you start it, and educate us a little bit on it. Yeah, so um, when I was in school, I, were, I was, got prescribed some really, really thick glasses. And because of that, I got made fun of a lot. I got bullied a lot. And I had to learn to overcome those bullies in my life. Um, and afterwards, I saw the same problem happening in schools and workplaces and life situations with everybody. And I realized a lot of people don't know these tools. A lot of people just let the bullies push them down. They let the negativity in their life push them down. And so that's what prompted me to start Bullies Be Gone here on Instagram, to just build a community to teach people how to build a culture of kindness. Because, I mean, we can keep on going through life with bullies, but we don't have to. And if we can learn how to build that culture, if we can learn that opinions of five to ten individuals don't really matter, then we can go so much further. So how do, what are some of the tools that we should be utilizing? Give us some suggestions. For sure. So the first question that I always ask people when they come to me saying, I'm getting bullied or I'm getting treated unkindly, I say, do you know who you are? Because if you have an identity for yourself that you know who you are, no matter what the haters have to say, you cannot change that truth. And so if you don't know who you are yet, you got to figure that out. What do you want people to think of when they think of you? Are you kind? Are you respectful? Are you charitable? Are you nice? You know, what are you? Who are you? And for me, when I was younger, I got thinking that. I'm like, I am none of these things that my bullies are saying that I am. They are totally wrong. But I have been believing them because I've been letting them decide who I am. And as soon as I realized who I was, they lost all their power. They could do what they wanted. And I just felt bad for them. Because they didn't know who they were. And that's why they were taking it out on me. But since I know who I was, it didn't matter anymore. That's the first thing I always ask folks. Like, know who you are. Because once you know who you are, then it doesn't matter what those haters have to say. The second thing, I always tell people is focus. Focus on those things that you do have and focus on the things that you can control. You cannot control how people talk to you. You cannot control the things that they do. You cannot control other people, period, dot, the end. The only person, the only thing that you can control is yourself. Do you treat other people kindly? Do you try and help other people feel loved? Do you treat people the way you want to be treated? Do you try and create kindness in other people's lives? See, if you focus on things you can't control, you're going to be miserable because you can't control it. It's going to end up bad one way or another. But if you focus on what you can control, which is only you, and then while you're focusing on you and your actions, appreciate and focus on the things that you do have. Even though I didn't care what the bullies have to say anymore when I was younger, I still didn't have a whole lot of friends. I had a whole lot of things that were going wrong in my life still. But I chose not to focus on that. I chose instead to focus, I do have love and family. I do have some talents that I can use and have fun with. I don't have to focus on the bad things that are happening in my life. Because in our lives, positive and negative is going to be there 24-7. It's like clouds in the sky. We have the power to focus which clouds we focus on. And if we choose to see and focus on those positive clouds going through the sky, We'll be a lot happier because we're not beating ourselves up over the negative stuff that we have no power over. And then the last thing I always tell people to do is serve. You can't worry about your own petty problems if you're out there serving others and making other people's lives better. If you're having a really crappy day, go and find someone and lift their day. I promise you'll feel better. 
I love that. I mean, I don't know if it's going to work in my case. I like to bully my competitors, so I don't know if I'm going to I I don't know if I'm going to take those advice and not do it, but I know who I am. So I'm pushing their buttons and they like to push my but sometimes they get under my skin here and there it's okay I understand but here's my question on a serious note is that something that as parents we need to be conscious about for our children because I feel like those identities are built at a young age and I think as parents as role models we have to be conscious about that and kind of guide our children not just tell them what to do we got to guide them and set them up on the right path so they could figure out who they are so how do we go about finding out who they are how do we teach them? how do how do i figure that out for myself and then how do i teach my kids to know who they are that's a great question because it's such a foreign concept especially for little kids right Correct. like when i was in elementary when i was in elementary school my dad's like do you know who you are i'm like I'm me. I'm not my brother. What what do you mean? Like stop tripping. And he's like, "No, like for so to simplify it, for especially like our kids, say who do you want people to think of when they think of you? Do you want them to think you're smart? Do you want them to think you're kind? Do you want them to think you're funny? What do you want people to think of? Because you get to decide who you are. You get to write your script. And you get to decide who you are. No one else gets to decide for you. And if you allow, because the only reason that you you're allowing that, like people to tell you who you are, is because you're allowing it. You're still deciding who you are. I decided I was who my bullies said I was, until I decided for myself who I was. And so, if we ask them, who do you want people to think of when they think of you? What things do you want people to think of? Maybe give them a couple of examples. Do you want them to think of someone kind? Do you want them to think of someone respectful? And you're absolutely right. It definitely starts at the home. Like parents building these values in these kids so that they know that they're good enough. The bullies, especially at school, I know I focus a lot on the school, but it works at work and playing everywhere else. But kids at school, most a lot of the time, the reason they're jerks is because there's something going on at home. that their life at home is just as crappy or worse than the kids that they are bullying. And so everyone just needs a little bit of love and that definitely starts at the home. Parents need to be conscious about empowering their children to know that they are good enough. Because our minds don't remind us of the bad once we experience it. It'll remind us of the bad like this has happened, this has happened. And that's okay. bad crap is going to hit the fan it does not mean that you were not good enough and if we can instill that in our children early early on it'll help them so much in the home onward into school listen i appreciate this is a this is a fantastic topic for us to do a whole entire video series because i think a lot of parents they are trying to do the best but i think a lot of times we also need to help them to get the tools to empower them so they can directly impact their 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 children or if they don't have kids they could help other people with their children in these subjects so i appreciate you taking this time and being with us this morning hopefully we get to do more i'm excited to do a whole entire series on this so you and i are going to collaborate we're going to talk hopefully we get you from utah to la pretty soon i'm going to work on that let me see what i can do and then we'll put this whole series together because i think it's going to impact a lot of people listen i don't know how many people it's going to impact but if it impact one extra person at least we did our job so whatever we need to do to put that together you and i are going to collaborate and we'll put it together i already put it in universe it's going to happen i don't know when but it's going to happen awesome man i really appreciate it and i appreciate this time as well man you got it brother talk to you later have a good one bye bye